How to Check a Shapefile's Attribute Value by Sarah Smith Tripp. In this short video, you will learn what is the .dbf file and how to check the attribute value in ArcGIS Pro. To complete this video, you will need, the same as in previous videos, a shapefile data, access to ArcGIS Pro, and a Windows 10 computer. What is the .dbf file? In the prior videos, we talked about shapefiles. We learned that a .dbf file is one of the mandatory files included in the three files associated with each shapefile. A .dbf file stores the attribute value of shapefile features. Attribute values and geometries on shapefiles have a one-to-one -one relationship, which is based on record numbers. The .dbf file is a D-based table and can be opened by any spreadsheet software such as MS Excel or LibreOffice Calc and database management softwares. It is very important for shapefiles, but ArcGIS Pro cannot directly open a DBF file. In a DBF file, there are several important things to remember. The field name cannot be longer than 10 characters. Best naming practices avoid spaces and special characters. The maximum record length for an attribute is 4,000 bytes. The record length is the number of bytes used to define all the fields, not the number of bytes used to store the actual values. Now, you don't have to remember these numbers when you create a shapefile, and there's no way to exceed the byte limitation. However, you may run into trouble when you convert between data formats, like when converting from GeoDatabase to a shapefile. The conversion will keep just the first 10 characters of the field names, and if you have more than 255 fields in your GeoDatabase, those after 255 will be ignored. To open the DBF file, we can right-click on the file in our, web, our file browser and select Open with Excel. Once we open the file, we can see the fields stored for our shapefile. Field names are limited to 10 characters, and the fields are listed by column. Next, we will explore what this table looks like in ArcGIS Pro. The simplest way to open the attribute table or the DBF file with ArcGIS Pro is to right-click on the shapefile and select the attribute table. You'll find the same thing as the DBF file we just opened. If you go to the table view tab, fields, it shows the attribute values data type. Besides checking data type, we can use it to control which fields will display on the attribute table. Check or uncheck visible. You will then see the change after you save it. This is where you would add a field, but that is covered in other videos. We know attribute values and geometry shapes are one-to-one -one related, but how can we find the link between them? First, let's select a row on the attribute table. You will see that this attribute defined in the row is now highlighted on the map. We can also find attribute values by selecting features. Use the Select tool to select a feature. Right-click and select Attributes. The attribute information will, show, will pop up on the screen. Or we can go to the Attribute table and select the Show Selected Records. Only sele the selected record will show up on the attribute table. This helps us see the one-to-one -one relationship between an attribute and a shapefile feature. Thank you for watching our video. Feel free to ask further questions. You may visit our website or talk to us directly following the details below.